Okay, friends and neighbors, I just showed you a little close-up demonstration of how I play Sourwood Mountain. Um, I learned that from George Gibson of Knott County, Kentucky, and I need to stress that I learned it really as, as an unaccompanied traditional banjo piece, a songster piece, a song, hoedown song. It's not learned as a fiddle tune, and most banjo, most traditional banjo music today, if you're looking on YouTube and or anywhere you go to festivals or any in-person classes you might take they're going to be teaching you fiddle tunes on the banjo and so those have a strict A part played twice B part played twice etc so in the tab for this lesson which I'll make available here if you click this link you can go to the tab for this and every other song that we offer in the tab I've tabbed it out as a fiddle tune a part played twice, B part played twice. But the way that I learned it was as a banjo song. So we throw all that out the window and you really are just playing those two parts and a couple, two or three variations, which I also offer in the tablature. Um, and then you're singing the verses over it as you please. And it's, it's meant as a solo style, which is usually how the banjo was played throughout most of its history, solo perhaps with uh, percussion, a drum accompaniment, maybe the fiddle accompaniment, and uh, but almost always singing and dancing accompanied the banjo. So the tuning is standard G D G B D. I am down tuned significantly from that, but I always do that, so you'll get used to that. But the fingering is the same. So I started out on the open first string. I do on the first string with the, at the second fret I do a little double note all I'm doing there is I'm plucking off and immediately coming back down and then play the first and second string open that gives you chickens growing on Sourwood Mountain then you want to get hey ho do da day doing there is striking the first string open twice then I'm noting it then I'm throwing in a little drop thumb real quick followed quickly by a slide on the second to the fourth then playing that third string open so this little lick here where I'm doing a drop thumb first and second string open and then immediately sliding on the third string from the second to the fourth that's a lick that I use a lot in in this tune so so just note that you're gonna you're gonna run into that lick a lot i'm using it a lot in that piece so then there's the b part which is all the slidey stuff so that's just you're sliding on the third string from the second to the fourth fret and you're sliding back up from the fourth to the second and you're doing a drop thumb and of a slide that's my little lick coming down on the bass string at the second